Welcome to our Five on Five. Please welcome back Denise James, the Executive Director of Rogue Valley Habitat for Humanity. Good yeah, to see you again. Good, good, thank you. Thanks for being here. So your guys are about to hire a waste manager to help take care of some environmental issues. Uh, what do you plan to do with, with this person at the ReStore? This person is going to implement a new program which will help eliminate a lot of the material that goes to the landfill will help really develop new ways of, of um, increasing our recycling effort and really um, make awareness to the public on ways to reuse um, a lot of donated material that we receive. Interesting. So I imagine, yeah, there's this clearly a need for this. Where did this idea come from? Well, it originated from the fact that we receive so many donations at our ReStore. We receive about a thousand donations a week wow. and we're overwhelmed. We're overwhelmed with the items that we have and, and we're where you, too many of them are going to the landfill that could really be repaired or reused. And I started realizing that our landfill, our dumping fees were going higher and higher each month and said, I, I got to do something about this. Mm. So it originated with, with the landfill fees. Uh, also, we've had a lot of volunteers that would like to implement some new programs for, to help repair and um, repurpose. And we just haven't been organized enough to, to get that program off the ground. Wow, okay. Um, where's the money coming from to, I mean, it's, maybe it's the money you're just saving from trips to the dump, but how are you guys going to make this work? Well, um, we received a grant from DEQ, which is um, for waste management, and that will pay for the uh, one-year salary for this person to implement a program, and we're hoping after one year it will be pretty close to self-sustaining just from savings and mm. from increased sales and um, revenue from recycling. Okay, and you guys, the position hasn't been hired yet. You guys are in the process of writing that job description. Uh, will this person also be involved with public outreach? Yes, we hope so, because we want to do some, some trainings and some clinics teaching people how to recycle or how to repurpose. We have a lot of that that we can use. Um, a lot of items that come in can be rebuilt or remade into something else. Okay, very good. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in a moment. Okay. Stay with us. Thank you. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Denise James from Rogue Valley Habitat for Humanity. We're talking about this waste manager position that you're looking to hire now in the new year. Um, what is the impact going to be out of this? Well, first of all, we hope to decrease the cost, so that'll be more money for the for the organization. Um, we actually, our mission is really to build houses for people within the community. Sure. So more funding for us to be able to do that. We're hoping to increase sales um, and make uh, additional community awareness of what we do, the recycle efforts, and the impact that that has. I'm glad you mentioned building houses because <laughs> as what many we do. people know, <laughs> that is what you do. But yeah, so much going on with the ReStore and how busy you guys are. A thousand mm -hmm. donations a week. That, that It's amazing. It is amazing. And um, during some slow times after Christmas sometimes and, and early start of winter, those donations decrease. So we're hoping some um, awareness will, will keep that moving. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said about building houses is the ReStore pays for 100% of the administrative costs of the organization. So it's vital to our to our whole organization within sure. the community. Um, so we can, we'll be able to build more houses the, the higher that revenue stream is. Okay, and you guys are getting a grant from DEQ to, to bring this position in. It's wonderful. So will, will this person need to come in with the skills that you guys are looking for, or there'll be training offered? I think well, there'll be some training offered, but we're really looking for someone that's comfortable um, out in the public, doing some outreach, um, have real great innovative ideas. So I don't know that there's a specific training for the position. We'll, we'll be learning it as we go. Sure, so it is a new position. That right. makes a lot of sense. All right, well, good to see you. Thank you so All much right. for being here. Thank Appreciate you it. so much. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.